Hey guys, today I'm going to be explaining Mac OS 10 whether you should get Sun Leopard or stay with Lion. But I'm going to be explaining why you should why you should uh, not upgrade to Lion. It's a RAM eater, depending on the Mac you have. If you've got 2006 MacBook or so, don't do it. Stay with Sun Leopard because it's a it is a RAM eater. It'll eat your RAM so quick that it just it slows down performance quite considerably fast. For my MacBook Pro 2010, it, it ran pretty good, but it just... Then it got worse as time came along, and I decided to get downgraded back to Slumpard, but I'll get to that in just a second. Line has some really good features, though. It's got Mission Control, which is Expose and Spaces combined into one. Uh, Launchpad, which is, which is iOS-like stuff for the iPad. iCloud, which is... Wirelessly syncing your contacts, photos, mail, cal calendars, all that stuff to your iOS devices, iPad, Apple Touch, iPhone. It, it's got versions, which is which is like um, going back to, to a document at a later in time and just a few bunch of other things. Those are helpful, yes, but a few things that are just bad. Like it's not all that bad, but it only depends on the Mac you have, basically, but. In my comp in my completion for me, I'd say I would for me I would go with Snowbird because it just it ran it runs perfectly on MacBook Pro but Lion just came out too early. It came the bugs they really didn't get them addressed. My MacBook Pro had a problem where it would actually where the screen would go black and I would have to shut it off the hard way. Which is which didn't make me happy and just froze up a lot. It wasn't that good. Uh, in Snow Leopard, though, it runs just fine. I mean, Snow Leopard's optimized for the Mac, for the Mac, you know, for the Macs you have. But if you guys want to get Lion, go right ahead. But if you have 2006 MacBook or so, or in that era, 2006, 2007, I'd recommend staying away from it because it just slows down your Mac's performance considerably. Um, what else? Now, if you want to upgrade to Lion, you can just. If you want to upgrade the line because of iCloud, go right ahead. I think it'd be a good reason. Or you just like the features of using for the document stuff, go right ahead. Me, I didn't use that many features. Now, if you were gonna, now if you wanted to keep some leopard before line, I would recommend making another partition in disk utility so you can have two partitions of Snow leopard and line, so you can switch between either one. Basically. Me personally, I only upgraded to Lion because of iCloud. Because I mean, I me I sync my iPhone, my iPad, using iCloud to con using contacts, mail, calendars, do all the stuff wirelessly. I think it's great. Plus, find my iPhone. That's that's helpful for for iCloud. You know, just it's quick. Mobile me never cut the trip. Never cut it. If you guys don't need iCloud, don't upgrade to Lion. Just don't upgrade to Lion if you don't need iCloud. If, I, if iCloud didn't exist, I wouldn't have upgraded to Lion. I wish they actually made iCloud for Celebrity, but I don't see that happening. So that's why I've got iCloud. That's why I've got Lion on my Mac, on my iMac, for iCloud. So anyway, guys, that hope that explains to you why you should probably stick with Celebrity instead of Lion. You can choose either one, but if you want to. Uh, have Snow Leopard and Line on the on the Mac you're gonna use. I would recommend making a separate partition, so you can have one thing for Lion, one thing for for Snow Leopard. Right now, my primary OS is Snow Leopard because it's it provides all I need. So I'm good with Snow Leopard. You guys choose what you want. I'm not gonna judge you guys. I'm not gonna judge you what you guys run. So, anyways, I really hope this video explains why. Or the differences between Mac OS and Snowbird and Lion. If you guys have any other uh, things you want to say to me, just drop me a link or shout out in the comments.